Greetings! Today we're going to talk about pea shoots. I'm sure most of you have had peas, whether it's as sugar snap peas or in some type of dish with peas, or even if just peas on the side for Thanksgiving. But did you know that you can actually grow them to eat them as shoots? And shoots are plants that are about three to five inches in height. And pretty much all of us have had plants that have been grown to maturity. But in fact, you can eat them before that. You can eat them as sprouts, which are seeds that have been germinated to have just a tiny little shoot on them. And then the next phase after that is microgreens, where you allow those, those sprouts to grow to where they're about one to three inches in height. And then after that are shoots. Some of the benefits from eating pea shoots are they're a really good source of chlorophyll, which most of your greens will be. And that will help your body to neutralize and get rid of toxins. Pea shoots are also seven times higher in vitamin C than blueberries, and that means that they're gonna be really good at helping your body boost its immune system. They're also a good source of beta carotene, folate, as well as fiber. And what does all that mean? That the, it is, eating pea shoots is really gonna help your body fight off and prevent getting cancer, heart disease, uh, and as well as boost your eye health. So these are really packed with good nutrition that is gonna help your body all around. And so you may be asking, well, how, how do you use pea shoots? How do you eat them? Well, pea shoots have been known to be eaten in Asian cuisine for years in stir fries, but you can also use them in smoothies, in sandwiches, in wraps, and they also can make a great garnish on a fresh salad. Well, how do you grow these things? How do you grow pea shoots? Well, you can grow pea shoots indoors or outdoors if you grow them outdoors they can take anywhere from two to three weeks to grow them or you can grow them indoors year round and get a harvest in as little as seven to ten days we grow ours indoors under grow lights and for starting your pea shoots you can get whole peas from your local supermarket or one of the methods that i recommend is going to a seed company like todd seeds and uh, if you want to get a discount from them, you can check out the show notes below and I have a discount code for getting bulk seeds from Todd Seeds. Because ultimately that's how you want to buy them because buying in bulk is more cost effective. So once you have your seed, deciding how much to start at one time will vary depending on the size container that you plan to grow them in. For ours, we typically grow two 10 by 20 trays at one time. And for that, we pour our pea seeds right into a quart jar and we fill it up to about halfway. And half of a quart jar will fill up two 10 20 trays. From there, we let our pea shoots soak in water for about 24 hours. And with selecting the size container to soak your seeds in, make sure there's enough excess room in the container for the seeds, the peas, because they're gonna fill up with water, soak up, and they're gonna puff up. And if you haven't selected the right size, they will actually overflow and spill out of your container. So definitely make sure you pick the right size because we've had that happen before. And once you've soaked your peas, next is time to continue their growth. Some people actually let them go to sprouts in the water, but I like to take them, once they have been soaking for 24 hours, to go ahead and put them in some soil medium, which we're gonna do right now. So for our soil medium, we use a blend of potting soil, potting mix, as well as compost, and sometimes vermiculite or perlite. And then we fill up our 1020 trays here. And the trays that I really like to use are from Bootstrap Farmer. They just hold up really well. And I'll include that info for these trays in the show notes below. So I fill up, and the trays that you want to use are the shallow ones. And uh, you don't want to use your deep ones, but you can. So we'll use a, uh, a shallow slotted tray with a deep tray underneath. So that way your excess water and moisture just go right down there. So as you can tell, these have gotten some use. So after that, we fill up our tray with our soil medium here. And I don't like to fill it up all the way to the top. Need a little bit more. Just so when you're watering them, they're not falling out. Next, once your tray is filled up with the soil medium, next you're just going ahead and put your seeds out. And you're just going to be generous with those seeds. And then we just spread them out. A little bit more in some of those spaces. Just like that. 
Bam, that easy. After your seeds are set in the trays, next we water them thoroughly, water them really good, and then we put a tray over top and we cover them up to black them out. And that blackout phase will help them to sprout even more and continue with the growth. And during the blackout process, we'll actually set bricks on top of our tray that we're using to black out our seeds. And this will just help further promote the growth and sprouting of the seeds. And then over the next couple days, we're going to be watering them every 12 to 24 hours to make sure that they have all the moisture that they need to grow properly. And then once they have been gotten to the point where they're starting to lift up that tray, believe it or not, with the bricks on top, then that's the point to remove the tray that you're using to block out, black out your seeds and let them be exposed to light. So that way they can continue to grow and develop and be the shoots that you want them to be. And harvesting your pea shoots is really, really simple. I basically use scissors and uh, just make sure that your hands are washed or you're wearing some gloves and then have your container that you're going to be clipping them into. And as I harvest my pea shoots, I just get really close to the soil, clip from the bottom, put them in our tray, clip really close. And after you harvest them, for storing them, you can use a Ziploc bag or a clamshell. And uh, we simply just stick them in the refrigerator in the humidity drawer and then use them as needed. Also, if you're just growing them for personal use, you can have them sitting right on a counter somewhere and just clip as you need them and as you will use them. And that's actually the best and most nutritious way that you can consume your pea shoots. And then after you harvested everything you need from your tray of your pea shoots, you can either take your pea shoots and put them in a compost or you can, they can make really neat treats for your chickens or ducks. So there you have it. How to grow pea shoots, what they're good for, and just an overall concept of pea shoots. Let me know in the comment section below. Have you ever had pea shoots before? Have you ever grown them before? Let me know. Also, just a reminder, the items that we use from the seeds from Todd Seeds, information is in the show notes below, as well as the trays from Bootstrap Farmer. That's it for now. We'll see you next time, and as always, be strong and grow on.